Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your best life in Jesus Christ. The beginning of a new year has prompted me to stop for a moment and think of all the friends I haven't heard from for a while. One of these folks is a wonderful lady I work with often at Elfview named Aza. Aza is originally from Egypt, and although she speaks fluent English, well, as well as Arabic and French, she speaks with a rather thick accent that, for some folks, makes it difficult to understand her at times. When she first started subbing at Elfview, I heard the kids complaining about her because, according to them, they couldn't understand what she was saying. I hadn't met Aza at that point, so I listened, nodded my head, and continued on with my lesson without comment. Later that day, I had a chance to meet Aza during a brief and hurried trip to the, rest, to the lounge <laughs> to use the restroom. And I will admit that at first I didn't really understand what she was saying either. I kind of nodded my head, you know, the way you do, used the restroom, and then left to go back to class smiling at her on the way out. In my next class, one of the kids asked me if I'd met the new sub, and before I could answer, another student said the same thing I'd heard earlier in the morning, that they couldn't understand her. You know, I was almost going to agree. I was almost going to say something when... The first student that asked me if I'd met her said, Well, I understand her just fine. You just have to stop and take a minute and listen. You know, that stopped me dead in my tracks. I mean, I had spent much of my teaching career trying to get kids to really listen, not just to music, but to teachers and parents and others, and really think about what they were hearing. And I've always said, and I learned it from my mother, that listening sincerely is a sign of respect. And here I was doing the same thing I'd accused them of doing, not taking the time to stop and really listen. In my case, not to music, but to something much more important, another human being. Oh, I had many reasons why I didn't, most importantly being on a tight schedule that day, but really, was that an excuse? It bothered me. So I made it a point that day to go find Aza and sit and talk with her for a while. After a few moments, I no longer heard her Egyptian accent, but just her. Over time, I learned about her life, her family, her travels, and after a while, I heard much more. I heard what makes her joyful. You know, Aza still to this day is one of my favorite people and someone I truly like and respect, and I miss seeing her and talking to her. I sometimes think how much emptier would my life have been if I hadn't taken the time to stop and really listen and understand. In John 13, 34, and 35, Jesus tells us a new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know you are my disciples, if you love one another. Notice how many times he says that. I think one of the best ways to show you that you truly love someone and care is to just stop and listen to them. When someone starts talking to you, they're inviting you to walk with them, to go where they're going, to journey with them for a little while. Maybe, be honest with you, it's, it's not our first choice for conversation. Maybe we're in a hurry or we don't feel like we have the time. Well, that's when we need to stop and take the time to invest in someone else's story. And by doing so, we're being an example of God's love. We need to let His light shine through us by simply listening. We need to be ready to listen to people whenever they're ready to talk. I mean, yeah, it's going to cost you something. You might have to give up lunch at work or skip your workout or miss your favorite show. But the point is that God asks us to represent Him to others, and that requires a loving and a listening heart. In Psalms 46.10, God reminds us to, quote, Be still and know that I am God. In other words, even God sometimes requires us to stop and shut up and listen for His voice. And He speaks to us in so many different ways. Sometimes He's speaking through music. Sometimes through ministers and devotionals like this one. Sometimes through a specific scripture remembered at the right moment. Sometimes through the innocent words of a child or the wisdom of a parent. And sometimes through, the, through a total stranger with an Egyptian accent. 
Today and every day, let us remember to demonstrate God's love by really listening to others. When we do, I guarantee we will hear God's voice as well in unexpected places. Let's stop and really take the time to listen. I mean, after all, God always has time to listen wholeheartedly when we're ready to talk, doesn't he? I hope you make today a terrific day. I want you to know that I'm here if you need me. And I love you all.